Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So here we are at the order of operations part 1 video. I'm going to tell you a little bit about order of operations in this video and how to solve them. As you can see there are four problems on your screen that we will solve together. Then we will try some more difficult problems in part 2. After part 2 you can try some on your own over at the mastery check. So take a look at the four problems on your screen. You'll see addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even parentheses. Order of operations problems can have exponents as well. So we have a lot of different things mixed within one problem. So we need a set of rules or instructions to go through these problems correctly. We have an acronym that helps us with these steps and it's at the top of your screen. PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. And there's also a graphic on the left side of your screen that will help us with these steps. So parentheses is up top, that's number one priority. Whenever you see it in a problem, that comes first. And then we work our way down that chart. Exponents is second priority, level three is multiply and divide, and then we have add and subtract. So let's hop into number one. We have nine plus 11 minus four in parentheses. So how you go about doing these problems is we take a look at our chart over here and we have parentheses up top. That means it's number one priority. If you see parentheses in a math problem, that's what you do first. So let's do 11 minus four first for number one. 11 minus 4 is 7, and now we need to bring down everything we did not use. So we did not use the plus, the addition, and we did not use the 9. Now we only have one operation left, so that's what we have to do. So let's end with 9 plus 7, which is 16, and that is the answer to number 1. Number 2, we have a 3 right next to a parenthesis and then seven minus two within those parentheses. So anytime you have a number right next to the parentheses, that means multiply. So I'm going to rewrite the problem with the multiplication sign in there. So again, anytime you see a number right next to parentheses, it is multiplication. All right, so let's go through our steps. Step one, parentheses, do we have any in this problem? Yes, so that's what we need to do first. Seven minus two is five, and then let's bring down everything we didn't use, the multiply and the three. So we end with three times five, which is 15. So there you have it, there's number one and number two. So let's hop over to three and four these get a little more complex and have more steps to them than numbers one and two. Now it's important with three and four and the more complex type of problems to do one step at a time and make sure you're going through the, your process. So number three, let's go through our steps. Any parentheses? Yes, so that's what we need to do first. 17 minus six is 11. Let's bring down everything we did not use. So now we have multiplication and addition. So let's go through our steps. Any parentheses now? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. So that's what we need to do next. So three times five is 15. Drop whatever we haven't used yet. So we have 15 plus 11, which will get us to 26. So number four, we have 12 minus 10 divided by two plus 16 minus nine in parentheses. So parentheses we need to do first, 16 minus nine is seven. Now we need to bring down everything that was not used. So now we have subtraction, division, and addition. So any parentheses, no. Any exponents? No. 
Any multiplication or division? Yes, so that's what comes next. 10 divided by two is five. Bring down everything we did not use. Everything still needs to stay, stay in the same order when you're rewriting the problem after you're going through your steps. So the 12 minus five plus seven has to stay like that. So we have subtraction and addition left. So any parentheses, no. Exponents, no. Multiplication or division, no. Addition or subtraction, yes. Now addition and subtraction are both down here on level four. Subtraction and addition both hold the same value you can think of it as. So one is not more important than the other. So if you get to a point where you have addition and subtraction, you go left to right. Addition is not more important or comes before subtraction. Again, they're both level four down, so you just go left to right when you run into both in the same problem. So you would do 12 minus five first. 12 minus five is seven. Bring down your addition and the seven. So we get to seven plus seven, which is 14. So there you have it. There's a little intro to order of operations and the steps slash process um, on which we go through these types of problems. So I will see you over at part two where we will try uh, some more challenging problems and we will go from there. So I hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, peace.